puppy. Well, good morning. It is 11.30 and uh, this is the closest that we've ever got to leaving on time. <laughs> I, sa yeah. I said 11. Check out was 11. But uh, I said let's do 11 and we got pretty close. 11.30. Mm -hmm. 11.35. So uh, we're leaving Craig right now. Craig, Colorado. Uh, we came because the weather was a lot nicer here uh, than in Wyoming. Um, it was about, what, 10 to 20 degrees warmer? Yep. So, and it wasn't going to rain as much. Uh, and we just wanted to escape that and then there was also a nicer campground in this area and we thought it'd be a good route to share with y'all because about I think 30 minutes to the west there is um, the sand wash basin where you can see wild horses so if you want to add wild, that to your wild if you want to add that to your route we went last year it was awesome wow um, if wild. you do come this way it is a must see and there's so many wild horses I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed to yeah. see some when you go that way so definitely so craig's a great outpost for doing that uh, and today we're headed over toward moab moab yep. is that like raute Ra no, i think it's Ra just moab it's i don't think there's any other way to it's just moab <laughs> it's just moab okay so we're headed to moab <laughs> last year we were there um, moab's a great place if you love outdoor activities which a lot of people do um, we're not into rock climbing. Florida's pretty flat, so we don't know anything about, we don't rock, know anything about rock climbing. <laughs> and we're not extreme mountain bikers, and we don't have uh, ATVs to go off-road mm -hmm. exploring. So we miss out on a lot of the cool outdoor activities, but it is a gorgeous place to be, and we're looking forward to getting back for that. It is uh, right outside. There are two national parks right outside of Moab. So you can go to Arches, which is awesome. Or you can also drop into Canyonlands, which are right there. They're both about 15 minutes from downtown Moab. So that's why Moab's pretty awesome. They've got so much outdoor, beautiful nature to explore. Um, last year, we left Arches, spent a full day exploring Arches, and then we tried to find campground. And it was like the first day of beautiful weather. Yeah. It was a Friday. Every spot was taken. Every campground was full. They have BLM land, tons of BLM land out there, but it's kind of marked off into reserve sites, and we couldn't find any of those either. Yeah. I mean, it Nothing. was it was crazy. So we ended up actually driving back the way we are now. We drove into Colorado yeah. to uh, to try to find a place to camp because we couldn't find anywhere in Moab. So it's a four hour drive. We are planning on getting there, I guess, around three thirty, four o'clock, and we're going to try to find a campsite first. And then from there, we're going to go for a hike. Yes. Yeah. But yeah we we're going to drink Corona. for a hike. Drink Corona hike. What's it called? Drink Corona. Is it Corona Arch? Corona Arch. It's it's not drink Corona path <laughs> or hike. It's the Corona Arch. We're going to try to go to the Corona Arch. So uh, looking forward to getting there. As you know, or as you probably know, or as maybe you know, our plans don't usually go the way we... Yeah, we might get there and there might be no camping. And, I mean, the arch might be gone. Somebody might have drank yeah. it already. Yeah. Who knows? We don't know. We don't know. So that's why we love starting out with, like, here's what's happening and here's our plan. Because we're called to wander and sometimes we end up just wandering. Yeah, we like, might wander further south. Who our, knows? our plans don't always pan out. So we'll see how it goes, but for now... We're going to get on the road and uh, hopefully it's a beautiful, uneventful drive and we will uh, check back in once we get down to Moab. 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 Something. Moab, Mo Moab, Moab, is in Utah. Yeah. You didn't tell me we were going back to Utah. 
Uh, I figured you knew. Last time, last time we were in Utah, what happened? And we broke down. We, we, we broke down big time. Yeah, we're about to cross the border. We broke down like catastrophically big time. Like as big a breakdown as you could possibly have, mm-hmm. according to the Ford dealership. Yeah. In reality, it wasn't that big of a breakdown. Yeah. But it did cost us so much stress, time, energy, effort, money. <sighs> and we're going back to Utah. <laughs> Rocket, don't die again. Yeah. <laughs> Rocket's actually from Utah, so uh, every time we go through here, we think happy thoughts about Rocket going home. But last time we thought Rocket actually died, we thought Rocket brought us home so Rocket could die in, in its home. We're going to be crossing the border and getting on down to Mo... Okay. Mo- M- Lindsay says there's only one way to say Moab, but my Australian Siri says Mob. <laughs> She did. She said Mob. Mob. So we're going to Mob <laughs> right now. All right? Yes. Let's get back on the road. Starting route to Mob. For 25 miles, continue straight up. Let's try it again. Starting route to Mob. Mob. For sure. For 25 miles, continue straight Third time's charm. She doesn't say Moab. It's definitely an alternate. Starting route to Moab. Starting route to Moab. For 24 miles, continue. Apparently, there is another way to say Moab. 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 It's like deja vu, driving this beautiful, beautiful canyon road, trying to find a campground. It's uh, 4.30, so it took us a little bit longer, about half an hour longer to get in. But we're hoping we can still get a place to stay. It's uh, Monday night, and that's a little less uh, busy, hopefully. But it is Moab, or Mob, if you're Australian, <laughs> and uh, you speak like Australian Siri. So any given day could be crazy busy. But I mean, this is gorgeous drive, so we're gonna get this drive in anyway. And hopefully, we'll find a place to camp. And I, if I remember, they're climbing these walls all right, right in here. Yeah, we were here, and there was like a bunch of like school, school buses, kids, yeah. yeah, school kids were out here. Yeah. Field tripping. Their field trip was to climb mountains, to the climb these rocks. It must be pretty cool to grow up in Moab. There's a rock climbing wall, sure it is. What? Climb that. No thanks. I think there's people doing it right now. There's cars parked here. Yep. Crazy. There they are. You see them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're getting ready to go. There's people are, though. Find me climbing no rock. No thanks. So, yeah, we're gonna go down the gold bar. It's the last campground. We're gonna go down there. And hopefully, there's a spot for us that's right outside the Corona Arch hike. And we would like to do that. Um, not have to drive the truck to the trailhead. I think it's they're right across the street from each other. But hopefully, hopefully, there will be a spot. In here. Ah, it looks like there's availability. Wide open. It's it just looks wide open. Weather. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a good Oh spot. my gosh, this is great. Down there. Site 5. Right by the bathroom. Looks like it's empty. This one right here. So Gold Bar Campground has nine campsites, four group sites at $20 a night. I think we're going to stay here one night. 
All right, number five. And then here, you grab your ticket, pull one out, deposit the envelope here. There we are. Oh, this is awesome. Perfect. Yep, you're perfect on both sides. Sweet. Getting ready for our hike. Gonna go drink some Coronas. Right? And Arches. We're going to Arches National Park? No. No? We're not no. going to Arches to drink Coronas? No. Abby? Oh, she's chewing on a stick. What are we doing then? We're going to Corona Arch. Corona Arch. We're going to go, to, we're going to go hike Corona Arch. <laughs> so here's our stuff that we got. This bag that's been with me since 2010. Took it to Bali. Water is most important. Everest has her own water. This is water. My water. Got her leash. We got a little collapsible water bowl for her. Clip bars in case we get stranded. Oh, we need to have some calories. Fine. Or if I decide I'm going to climb a mountain, like this guy. Apparently, it helps you climb mountains. Apparently, it helps you climb mountains. Cliffs, I think. Cliff bars. Got Everest. Some, some batteries for the handycam, and we're going to go out on a sunset hike. So I'm going to pack our headlamps. In the event we're enjoying ourselves. Last but not least, a portable charger. So we have power for our cell phones. Cell phones we use for hiking. We got a hiking app that we use, Gaia GPS. And uh, so that way we'll have it. And then I'm gonna go bandana today. Good idea. I'm gonna do the purple. You match me. I match well, I'm you. purple and teal today. Uh, I didn't do that on purpose, it's just the only bandana I have accessible. There we go. Sweet. I'm excited. Wives. I wanted to do this hike last year, and we weren't able to. My wife is doing pretty good for us so far. All the footprints. It's okay. We've had comments in the past about how I always have Lindsay leading and I got the camera, so all you see is a whole bunch of Lindsay's butt. So I'm gonna try not to do that this time around. Unless there's a whole lot of comments that say you want to see a bunch of Lindsay's butt. Well, we see the arch, and we thought that being on the railroad tracks was a cool way to hike, but it turns out we're pretty sure we're in the wrong. So, so we're turning back around, and we're going to try to find the right trailhead. I usually take a picture of the uh, map trailhead. BLM's great at marking that. State and national parks are good at marking those. I usually take a picture of it and then uh, at least have a frame of reference, but didn't do it this time. I was too busy drinking my green tea. So no green tea next time we go hiking. 
we'll figure it out. We got about an hour and 15 minutes of sunlight, which should be enough. This is the right way. I feel like a cow. Yeah. Now we're on the right trail. We were just on the train tracks before, which is cool. I enjoy that as a kid, but not very legal, I don't think either. Nope. There were definitely a lot of footprints, though. Yeah, we weren't the only ones. Yeah. yeah. So when you come out to Moab, to hike the Corona Arch Trail. Make sure you go across the railroad tracks, not along them. There's the railroad track. Huh. Yeah, that's where we were. Yeah, you can see the canyon down there. Good dog. You ready, dog? Nope. She's more sure footed than we are. You right, dog? Yeah. You just stopped her momentum. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Good girl. Yeah, you got this. Look at that. <laughs> Coming down is going to be hard. Yeah, that one's always the hardest. Good girl. Well, she, there's a ladder. Evers can't do that. I could lift her up. Or we could just hike up and around. I think I'm gonna lift her up. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Trust me. You got the severs, it's not that high up. Look, see? Not bad at all. We've done worse. Good girl. We're almost there. Nice, mostly level walk. Hey, I'm gonna go climb up to the top okay. and uh, I'm gonna sit there with my feet dangling off. Yeah. And you take a picture of me, okay? Yeah, sounds great. And then I think I'll jump. Instagram. Instagram. Yep. Hashtag. I don't know. And we made it. We were down there on the railroad tracks. There's no way we would have got across. So, definitely glad that we went ahead and came the right way. You sleeping on the job? This is a great hike. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yep. Coming back in the morning, right? Yeah, I think so. Unless I can't feel my thighs. <laughs> It's about seven minutes till seven. Yeah. The sun sets at 7 <laughs> And we're going to have to walk back in the dark. Something like that. So, yeah, we got to get out of here. So, here's one last view of the arch tonight. Ooh, and ah. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. 
<sighs> Hopefully it'll take us about a half an hour. That was fun. Just yeah. Have light. We just met a really awesome uh, couple from Hawaii. Yeah. And a professional photographer. So he helped uh, help Lindsay out yeah, with some. Yeah, he took a, a picture of me, Chris, and the dog at the Everest. And pretty it's awesome. Wait until you see it. Pretty stoked about it. <laughs> Well, that was a fun hike, and we're back. It's just about 8 o'clock, so we've got to eat. Dog's already getting started on that. Lindsay's cooking up some leftovers. And then, uh, oh, look at that. Our bed is nice and made. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. It'll never look like that again. Uh, never again. It'll never look like that again. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and call it a night. It was a fun day. Short little driving day, four hours or so. And uh, made some friends, the Hawaiian people were amazing. Uh, we'll stay in touch with them. And yeah, so we we'll call it a night. Cool. Good night. 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 Remember to comment, like, and subscribe if you like our videos. Say nice things though. We like nice comments. What are you doing? I'm training for Mexico. <laughs> <laughs>